This is the future. Yet another meta has fallen in Warframe this year, and this time around, it's how we usually level up, or max rank Warframe solo in just a couple of minutes. Before, we can max rank Warframe solo in just 2 minutes or 4 minutes using the carpet bombing method. In case you don't know, the best way to level up Warframe for years was in the normal star chart in Telsto Saturn. The exterminate mission is quite easy, and with the right tools in your hand, you max rank any Warframes to 30 fast. Speaking of the right tools, let me tell you first one amazing app that you should use right now as a gamer. Before we begin this video, I would like to share to you one amazing app that you should have in your PC, or mobile devices right now. This is Opera GX, the first ever browser tailored to the needs of every gamers in the world. I have been using this myself, and honestly, it's the best browser for us gamers. It has the features that every gamers need, to give a few, it has this feature called GX Control that helps enhance performance on your PC when gaming with your browser open and get rid of lag. You can also chat and browse simultaneously with social media channels like TikTok, Discord, and Twitch integrated right into the sidebar. Opera GX will also let you customize your browser to how you want it to look. The best part is, this is the only browser that keeps me updated to the latest games out there as it has its own corner called GX Corner wherein I can easily find updates on the latest game available right now. It keeps getting better as the developer also introduces Opera GX for mobiles, that has a built-in ad blocker, and a VPN feature which lets me browse content that is not available in my country. This is the browser I am using for years now, and I did not regret replacing the old one. Take note that these are just a few features that this gaming browser offers. There are more, and if you want to discover all the things that it can give you, then simply click the link in the video description or at the pinned comment below so you will be redirected to the official download page of Opera GX. You get the best gaming browser for gamers, and you will also help the channel. So what are you waiting for? Come and join thousands of gamers having the best time of their lives browsing the internet with the only browser specifically made for gamers, Opera GX. Now, I am not saying that the carpet bombing method in Telsto Saturn is not a good method to level up Warframes right now. It did receive several updates that made it better. During the Zaraman update, the carpet bombing method has become easy to do, and much more accessible since instead of Prime Sure-Footed, you can use the Unruh's passive named Poise to gain immunity to knockdown, allowing you to just carpet bomb enemies with the Kuva Brahma. After the update, you only need the Helminth system to get the Silence ability equipped in your Warframe. By the way, Savage Silence is another thing that is needed for this carpet bombing leveling method as it allows you to gain access to the Stealth Bonus Affinity Multiplier. Every nuke of the Kuva Brahma will be silent, and the Savage Silence Augment does allows it to reset the status of the enemies, plus it got a couple of seconds stagger, allowing you to gain Stealth Affinity Bonus, increasing the experience gain per kill. Another thing that made the leveling even more efficient is because of the Eximus units grant tons of affinity. When you have the 500% Stealth Affinity Bonus, one Eximus unit can grant up to 50k affinity or more, making the leveling much faster. In fact, the time to level up Warframe was cut to 2 minutes if you executed the carpet bombing method properly. The things you need are the Savage Silence Augment, Unruh's Passive Poise, the Helminth to subsume silence into the Warframe you are leveling, and last but not least, the Kuva Brahma to carpet bomb and level up. It was a solid leveling method but, it got hit badly after the AoE nerf and the ammunition nerf to OE weapons. While the AoE nerf did not make the Brahma less of a meta weapon, the ammunition nerf makes it inefficient in the leveling method. Most of the players who are new to the leveling method has difficulty maintaining their ammunition with the Kuva Brahma. It got additional needs for the leveling to work, and that is either to use carrier with its augment that converts all ammo to the gun you are using, or craft ammunition pizza and drop them when needed. It's still a good leveling method, but its effectiveness got degraded by some of the recent nerf of digital extremes to the game. Also, I don't know if you noticed this, and I don't know if this is just my experience, but enemies in Telsto Saturn are not as grouped as they were before. Sometimes you see enemies scatter in distance within a room, and there are only little rooms available wherein enemies are closely grouped so you can carpet bomb them and gather tons of affinity. Again, this is just based on my personal experience, and I want to know your experience too if you are using this leveling method in Warframe, Lastly, and again, the leveling is still viable, 
but if we compare it to the next leveling method I will show you, then you will pick the second one as it's more accessible and it requires fewer things to do. It's kind of funny, because this is my second best leveling method in the past, and I could say that I would rather consider the carpet bombing method over this since it allows me to level up my warframe faster compared. But like I have said, the carpet bombing method just doesn't work like in the past right now. The best way to max rank your warframe right now is the Sanctuary Onslaught trick wherein you subsume Thermal Sunder into your warframe and just spam the heat version of this ability to kill enemies. Every Sanctuary Onslaught conduit can last 2 minutes 30 seconds, and you will need to at least do 2 conduits to max rank a warframe from 0 to 30 with this method. That's about 6 minutes per run which is quite impressive for a solo run right now, knowing the fact that the carpet bombing method in Telstow Saturn will take about 8 minutes to do on average. Another advantage of subsuming Thermal Sunder into your Warframe and leveling it to the Sanctuary Onslaught is that you don't need a lot of stuff like the Kuva Brahma to do this. All you need is to slap Thermal Sunder into your Warframe, and then build your Warframe with range, some power strength, and energy efficiency. Another great news about this is that you can deal more damage with Heat Thermal Sunder using the Molt Augmented Arcane, as well as the Arch in Vitality if you have them. This will kill enemies faster, and make the leveling faster. Right now, I can honestly say that this is better compared to Telsto Saturn but, it's up to you what method you will be using. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.